Senicio Raulianis, also known as a string of pearls, and the flower is highly scented. And this is a variegated form of Senicio Raulianis. Look at the beautiful yellow on top and stripes of cream and pink. Just beautiful, beautiful plant. So variegated form of string of pearls. And it's also flowering and very highly scented. And this is Senicio Raulianos Angel's Tears. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This plant originated from Japan and is a hybrid from Senecio Raulianos, also known as String of Pearls. I bought this plant a few months ago in autumn. It started flowering in the middle of winter. It is now spring here in Canberra and it's still flowering. The flowers appear on trailing stems. It is highly scented and when there are a lot of them in bloom, it can fill the air with this enticing, sweet and spicy fragrance. This can be grown all year round. I was away during the first couple of months of winter this year, and I thought being winter and cold, it would go dormant. But instead, I was surprised to come back home from my month-long trip to find that it has grown a lot while I was away. The variegation is quite random and beautiful with mosaic of pink, yellow, beige and green. Some parts also have patches of pink or yellow or green and is a very fast grower and can reach over a meter a year. I live in an area where the temperature in summer can reach as high as 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit and in winter can go down up to minus 11 Celsius or 12 degrees Fahrenheit. I find that it is frost hardy to my area or growing zone, which is about zone nine in the plant hardiness growing zone. I grow my Senecio outdoors. The mother plant lives in my 50% UV shade cloth area. The baby is in this area where it gets morning sun and midday sun. It can also grow in a bright shaded area. That's a node, but I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to let it grow. But if I do want to cut it or propagate it, then I could take a cutting by cutting just below the node and taking off this round one here. And then I'll cut it to just behind there. So that way I still have an inch of stem that can go in the soil. And this is a cutting that I've taken a couple of months ago in winter. You can see the hairpin that I've stuck inside so I think I better pull this out now. And in a span of a couple of months this is how much it's grown. So it's grown four times since I only had it about three inches long. So about three that long when I planted them. And look at them now. Look at that. Beautiful plant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. Look at the yellow tips. It's gorgeous. It can also be grown indoors in a bright area with good ventilation or good air circulation. So now I'm comparing the growth of these two angel's tears. So the one on the left is grown outside and the one on the right is grown in here under my grow light. So the one on the right is sort of a much lighter color. But nevertheless, 
they're both growing so even this one in winter is still growing and that one too being grown inside beautiful plant to have so i would highly recommend if you haven't got angel steers or senecio angel steers you might consider getting one The time for them to go to sleep and they stop growing is in summer. But at the end of spring, which is for us is November, the minute we start getting warm temperature, so the minute the temperature got to 25 degrees Celsius and higher, I noticed that they went to sleep. Also, being out here in my, I'll just remove this, 50 plus 50% uh, UV area, they also lost their variegation. So if your Sinecia or variegated Sinecia Angel's Tear started losing its variegation, don't be alarmed. It's just the plant's way of going to sleep. So the minute they go to sleep, that's it. The color goes away and they don't like the heat. So also... If they're exposed to the sun, they will also lose their variegation. Like a lot of variegated plants, they prefer to be in the shade, except that cotyledon bare paws, <laughs> it's still variegated. But anyway, so that's what I've noticed with a lot of variegated plants. So this one now, if I want the color to come back and maybe tickle it a little bit just to keep growing, I'm going to put this in my shaded area. Okay, I'm taking you over here where it's nice and cool. There you go. So you can see all the variegation. There's a tiny bit at the tip there and a little bit there. But apart from that, they have to go rest period for here. This is like a Dracula. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. They're like vampires. They're now going to sleep and they don't like the sun. So I'll also get my babies. I've got the babies now transplanted, but you can still see that variegated or variegation is still there. But also these are flower uh, stems. So normally I would just leave them, but in this case, I'm gonna remove them just so they can look a bit pretty. But you could also, I could grow this, but what I could do is throw them somewhere where they can grow. But apart from that, that's it. This is a time, summer is a time for, oh look at that, still beautiful, but the Sinecia <laughs> Angel's Tears to go, good night, sleep tight, don't let the mealybugs bite. I think they named this Angel's Tears because of the shape of the leaves. Look at that, isn't that cute? That's like an angel's tears. <laughs>